Winner tonight in category five, best female pop vocal performance for Ain't No Other Man, Christina Aguilera. Hi. Hello. I was thrilled. I was completely, you know, flattered to to think that they would think that I could handle a James Brown, the Godfather of Soul song. Um, but uh, you know, I actually pay tribute to James Brown in uh, one of the songs on my album, Back to Basics, on a song called Back in the Day, which. Um, pays tribute to all that I'm inspired by in soul music and and uh, blues and you know who better than him to want to emulate and tonight you know, I, I was doing my research big time <laughs> watching DVDs getting ready for tonight watching his spins and his moves didn't do the spin afraid I'd you know trip on my heel or something like that but I had such a fun time and I was really I had such fun with it yeah I've been so in Grammy mode, <laughs> it's really bad, because I, uh, I have to really think about that, actually, um, come tomorrow, Monday. La last minute, I know, really bad, but, um, but we, we have something special, actually, planned that we're going to do. We're actually going to Disney for, uh, and doing a couples thing, because we always have such fun at Disney. By yourself? No, we're going with a couple, another couple, so, and yeah, fun, be, be kids, and, you know. Thank you. Um, where does that come? Did you make a decision to say, okay, I'm going to really just stand out from the crowd. I'm going to do something really different, you know, with some of the retro things. Um, the, the, the retro thing with, uh, you know, I'm, I've always been really, really influenced and, and, and affected by blues, jazz, and soul music, musicians, artists from the past. And I always knew that I kind of wanted to do my own twist or spin or interpretation of that style of music. And that's what ba Back to Basics was for me, you know, kind of doing uh, more of a modern day sense on the first disc and then taking it to a very organic place on the second disc where Linda Perry and I just you know, did a complete, you know, I mean, recording in the same room as all my live musicians and, you know, doing, which not a lot of people do in the pop, you know, world today. So it was really, really a, a great journey for, for me to go back and, and for me to kind of do my own style interpretation of that style of music. But, um, but that's just where my heart is and that's what I feel. Back on your left. Go on. Yes, I just shot the next uh, video for Candyman, which is really exciting. After that, of course, we're going to come with another single as well. But, um, you know, I mean, God, I have, what, 23 songs to pick from on two discs? It's kind of crazy, but um, lots of options. But uh, Candyman, I had such fun doing that. I, I co-directed this video as well as I did, you know, Hurt from, uh, which, was, which was my last single. And um, Matthew Ralston, who shot my Rolling Stone cover, kind of, you know, had that kind of throwback to pin up in World War II, kind of with the bomber planes and things like that, and the very, you know, military esque kind of just fun, tongue in cheek, uh, you know, uh, just playing and having fun. A lot of servicemen involved. I'm jitterbugging. I'm doing, you know, uh, God, so, so many things that have to do with that era. And it's just, uh, just a fun, playful video. I played three of myself as I was the redhead, the blonde, and the brunette of the Andrews sisters. So I had, yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. It, was, it took one full day of shooting just that alone, because you have to, you know, I don't want people to think I cheated and just, you know, technically in, you know, some sort of camera tricks, you know, dyed or uh, changed my hair color through that sort of way. That was me <laughs> three different times doing the choreography all day. So it was a fun, really fun video, and I'm really proud of it. Can't wait till you see it. Here on your right in the front. Um, are you setting me up to say keep your legs closed? <laughs> um, God, you know, you know, there's a there's a proper way to make sure that privates are kept private, and um, you know, that's by no mean, you know for anybody else, but that's just my personal take on, on exiting a limo. In, <laughs> in front of me. Your left. You gotta do what's right for you. <laughs> It's, it's my most inspired show yet. I, I really haven't had as much fun with any other tour, world tour that I've, I've done thus far 
than this Back to Basics tour. Um, as you you know, on, on disc two, there's a lot of circus elements that I play around with, and we're bringing that to life. I'm so proud of my dancers. They went into training, stunt training, to do you know trapeze swinging. There's fire throwing. There's stilt walking. There's so much going on on stage, and I, and I love that. When I go on, uh, or w whenever I go to see a concert, I love being taken out of my element and, and, and really using my imagination for a minute. And it's all about entertainment, you know. Uh, so for me, it's bringing all those interesting places to life that I go to on the record, taking it to a juke joint place, taking it to church on another song, makes me want to pray. I mean, it's, it's really a fun show and it takes you through quite a journey throughout the entirety of it. Last one is in back on your right here. Yeah. I do. I'm, I've definitely been reading scripts for uh, actually a number of years now in between, you know, my first love, which is music, obviously. Um, but, but you know, I, I really am interested in taking that on as, as its own art form for, for me. So that's why I've taken my time really trying to nail the right role. It doesn't even have to be the biggest or, or the smallest role for me. It doesn't matter. I just want the right thing to come along. And, and it's important that it's the right role. Um, but it will come. And um, while I'm on tour for the US leg, which starts the basic, Back to Basic tour uh, Feb in February, on February 20th in Texas, um, I will be reading scripts on the road. So soon to come, soon to come. Thank you. What's future? Absolutely, absolutely. Best pop female vocal, and it is the icing on the cake to. Um, such an exciting performance for me. A, a great night. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Zahar. Ah, what is it? Zahara Murad. Sorry. I suck at that. Um, Stephen Webster uh, and Lorraine um, Schwartz is what I'm Thank you. Thank you.